Hello, this is KR Brickbot, and now I'm bringing on the storm. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But in the meantime, this is a China exclusive smaller Penta Storm. Not from Sir Toys, because I got this whole thing, the whole box set. A ridiculously big Chinese box with carrying handle. The signature Chinese carrying handle. Yappy yeah, but for a smaller Penta Storm, this box is still ridiculously big. Ridiculously big still. It's only a slightly smaller than the actual Penta Storm box. Looking at the box design, it looks like it has that similar design, like explosive orange on the left and the blue on the right. It's duolingual. It has some Chinese and Korean on it. Four cars and Exeunt Storm. Despite technically not being an Exeunt and no other mention of Hyundai or whatever. On the upper corner. 3D animation, I, what I'm assuming is a difficulty level, uh, 3.5 out of 5, 6 plus. The four cars, just the stock photos, the CG renders. On the bottom corner, Toy Rock, Maku, and a extra sticker of authenticity. Toy Rock authenticity. The Korean logo here is like a, it looks like it's a yellow S instead of a green and 2020 toy, toy rock here. Side of the box, different stock photos. The other side of the box. And the back of the box is like the similar portrait style of the car box, the Pentastorm. All the CG. The computer that's CG cartoon vendors instead of actual no, toy vendors or toy photos. So yeah, so this package doesn't have any indication of what the actual toys are like. Which, there are some significant departures. And finally, some barcode on the bottom here. Toy Rock Maku and a QR code to some Chinese app, I assume. Okay, now for unboxing. See, ridiculously big. So ridiculously big, there's this much air, and Dandy and Ace are always off to the side as usual. With the backpack packaged separately. Yeah, this is, this is just so impractically big. And the yellow, very paper-thin background has Hello Carbot with a stylized Carbot logo there. And yeah, ridiculously big. Ridiculously impractical. And I think this is like 300 yuan, like $50. So they just made a giant $50 looking, they, they just made a giant looking $50 set. So it also comes with the paper instructions, HCL004, instructions, and a dreaded sticker sheet. So many stickers. Stickers for all of them. Because I guess they just really could not afford to print them on somehow. So the four main cars right out of the box, they look relatively simple. I think Sky Swat looks the best without any stickers. Fron Police is missing a yellow stripe significant of Korean cars and also the police symbol here. No yellow stripe stickers, but there's a sticker here and... Ace Rescue is also looking pretty complete on its own. Except it doesn't have the Fire 119 sticker and the rear stuff. And Dandy Ambulance is 
Honestly, just kind of looking just like a regular old Star X with a red stripe. Yeah, there really is no other stuff. You have to sticker it up. And for some reason, his grill is painted all red with the rest of the stuff. Yeah, it's some sort of paint mapping went wrong. I think I'm gonna have to paint that up or something. So I guess I'll sticker these up then. So according to the ruler, I would say the original Pentastorm toy is like 128 scale, but this is like 133 scale. So this is basically chug-sized Pentastorm. So yeah, chug size for cars would be like 132-ish. Yep, the near perfect scale. Although yeah, comparing to some modern deluxes, some smaller modern deluxes, there uh, might be a little size discrepancy. No wait, wrong one. Okay, yeah, still, still, even the dandy ambulance here is looking kind of big. I guess for cost cutting measures, they don't have transparent lights. But the next best thing they have are silver painted headlights. So that is a good look. It's not too dark like transparent black lights. Or baby blue headlights that look too baby. Ace Rescue, the 119 Fire Squad car. The white striping is on point. The back is looking really plain. Also because the headlights are somewhat shortened here. The grill is filled in with too much silver. They really should have broken it up with black. Fron Police is white and blue and not white, blue and yellow. Also, it does look like the Korean police symbol just without the Korean center of the flag. Also, these stickers scratch way too easily. I don't like those stickers. And I haven't really mentioned, but yeah, this little section here, if, if it looks a little disjointed, because that piece is molded in with the arm for some reason. I don't think it's that so for here, just solid separate pieces. Also, yeah, there's no police, no Kyung Chai, no silver painted hubcap reels, but it does have a chrome light bar at least, shiny chrome. Dandy Ambulance needed the most stickering up, like three stickers on each side and two on the back. Wish I had a little extra sticker there. But yeah, the green is off. The green sticker, the green stickering is a little off. The red is kind of see-through through the white stickers here. And as I said, I'm afraid too many rough scratches will scratch this. Also, the front is looking rather plain and wrong color red grill. Sky SWAT is the best looking because a uh, black Veloster. Also, she requires absolutely no stickers. Everything is printed on here, yeah, including the SWAT and such. I don't know. Maybe they should have put those stickers on here so you could have uh, just a plain black Veloster with a chrome silver light bar and a separately printed out painted out carbot symbol there and SWAT but no little police light bars on the front. Also the Veloster is a three door so if you look at the molding here this is cut to accommodate the third door here uh, but this little not Veloster sky it's perfectly symmetrical, so I guess it's, this is implying this is a Veloster with four doors, which I don't think exists. And Storm's a big trucker. Yeah, if you notice looking at Earthrise Prime here, yeah, the 
he's a small truck. A really good toy with a small truck. I mean, this is a really, this is a truck. Yeah, so probably you might be thinking old Transformer Voyagers. Big beefy guys. These are the only stickers I didn't apply, but the stickers here is like a Penta Storm, Hello Carbot, and also Penta Storm with the red S, which invokes the old Exeunt logo here, if you see the similarity of stylings. Yeah, that is a really clever design cue, like for non-licensed decals inspired by real things. Robot mode. So it transforms in the exact same way as Storm, except the arms stick to the legs much more tightly. Just gonna really have to unclip that somehow. Those aren't leg ratchets. So this is a on point, like nearly one to one downscaling of the big storm. It looks like the exact same proportions and even some of the same paint apps. Yeah, this thing is still really well painted. Like the chest with all the chrome bits. Yeah, although it looks like they chromed out the silver here and they silvered out the chrome here. Still has the chrome faceplate, but it, he now also has a uh, light piping ears. But of course, I think the budget distribution is not even all over the place. There are some skimped out paint bits, like uh, arms, legs. Yeah, th these are just plain blues. Painted feet, but no chrome silver insides. But other than that, a very good looking leader class storm. This is right on there with the old leader class. The old leader class. Now for the plus. Fraun and Sky are really straightforward, just the straight lever on there. Straight lever. Although it's a subtle double lever for Fraun. And instead of the spring loaded button for releasing this, the button is on the back which is a little red slider, which unlatches that. A single lever for Veloster Sky. Same deal here. And as I said, uh, perfectly symmetrical, just a four door instead of a three door. Pull that trigger. Storm with big gorilla arms. Try Storm with stumpy little feet. The feet are the most complicated parts for the transformation since they're like opening side panels and opening panels here and even like a, a, a little slider here. But this thing is just simple as just popping off the lid and clicking in the wheels. It's just a collapsed van with its roof popped off. And then four little clicks here. And the uh, small grooves here that are higher up on here and lower down on here. So Ace Rescue also is very similar, like panels to the side, the back panel up, 
the front hood forward, collapsing wheels and a little slider to lock it in. But this is also simple as collapsing the wheels and popping off the hood. The entire hood, the front hood, all the way to the back. Not leaving the front hood here, just yet. Exposing a false window. A sticker faux window. So that just simply clicks in there, and that goes in the back. The wing pack just simply opens. That's it. It doesn't have any intermediate hinges to reveal the jet thrusters. So, they're more the jet thrusters, but they can't be used. It plugs in the back uh, halfway. Yeah, it sh really should have had these hinges because for the clearance, but now it's just kind of hanging there, hanging there precariously. So anyway, here's the miniature Pentastorm. So for scale, here's Storm, who look like to be the exact same height now. A Combiner Wars Unite Warriors Combiner. Yep, right in there with that size class, like a, a head slightly taller. Leader class. I think he's gained like two to three heads of height. And Pentastorm. How many heads taller is this guy? Three to five heads, including the wings. And it's got the bonus of full light piping eyes instead of uh, just a uh, pretty opaque or painted over eyes here. The torso is looking very spot on, like with all the torso details and the head and chest. Although it's uh, completely silver, chrome silver, and not uh, chrome over black. And yeah, the cheapest looking part right at a glance is just the lack of paint on the arms. Only red at the bottom wrist, but no extra silver or red or such. Yeah, just really smooth here. But especially when you look at the feet, as they're just pretty much cars that are boots, and not just uniformly transformed and panelized car feet. And yeah, you have two different sizes of boots, like a one boot too small and one boot too big. Which also really makes it awkward straight forward on because this Starx Van Dandy covers this much of his shin. While this one is just all the way down there. And splotches! This is partially covered by you, but it does a good job of making it pretty uniform and even. Yeah, really, yeah, this is, I think this is quite a shame that it was this simplified for the feet because they just could not or would not make it all this complicated stuff in these feet. Quick look at the articulation. The head is still on a swivel. Nice ratchety arms, all the and a ab arc, unintentional. Because it doesn't have stopper ratchets like the big Pentastorm, yeah, this thing will be toggled a lot. Arms have the full range of motion, including the bicep swivels and the elbows and the wrist. Although I think the ratchet uh, is just not working on Franz's arm here. And I would get in there and attempt to fix the little bicep, but it looks like it's been glued in there as well as screwed in there. So for now, his left arm is just all loosely ratchety. The legs have knees that are unfortunately really blocked by the extra long kibble. On both legs, they both get in the way. A little spread and... Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? 
This thing doesn't have any hips? A full-on combiner without hips? You know, I was fully expecting Petastorm to have limited legs. I was expecting him to have no side-to-side -side thigh swivels. Just budgeting and such. I was expecting this to not have adjustable rear wheels, whether on a hinge or at least a slider for the wheelbase distribution and balance. But I did not expect this thing to have no forward and backward hips. Just the hips permanently molded in gray right with the torso. I mean, did they use up all the joint budgets in the arms? Is that why he has no hips? They couldn't have sacrificed his wrists so he could have moving forward and backwards? I didn't want this thing to be a mini Tobot combiner. And if you might have guessed, his spread is only one click. And you can't even click it in once because his foot is spreading out. So yeah, just a very slight shimmy shimmy side side. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. When I saw that China was going to release their own downscaled Pentastorm, I was pretty excited since it seemed like it would be a Pentastorm that actually fits in the generation Transformers chug scale. And looking at this shot, it pretty much does. The upper half is really fine, but the lower half is just stiltingly disappointing. It, this just has been really oversimplified. I'm just really bummed out that no hips. You're gonna have to, you know, just slice it and print out some parts, like 3D print some parts. Is it even possible to 3D print that milky, sturdy POM plastic? So China and Maku have also released a Mighty Guard in this scale, but I'm not really sure if I want to get it now because I could have got it for cheap, but I didn't. And it looks like it definitely doesn't have shoulders. So yeah, despite being like a modern G1 Transformer, as in a G1 1980s engineering robot that's been released in modern, this Pentastorm is still like a really great scale. Yeah, so, this would be a good alternative to the big Pentastorm with its very big box. Oh well, yeah, this and this small thing with its very big box that fits at the backdrop. I was waiting for this to pop up on Sir Toys, which it did just recently. Uh, Sir Toys, you may want to get a large quantity of this particular item this time, but I got impatient, so I ordered it from another source, box and all. So I think you should be grateful for Sir Toy's loose shipping to remove all the extra baggage. So links will be in the description for Sir Toy's and the Korean listing where I got this for Korean residents. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. So until next time, this is KR Brickbot signing out.